Hello everyone, my name is Li Yuxi. My metric number is 186503. I'm from China. Uh, uh, hello everyone, my name is Wong Yuan Ting and my metric number is 186701. Hi everyone, my name is Chia Xingyi and my metric number is 188888. Uh, we are from BBI 2423, Academic Interaction and Presentation, Group 65. Today we are going to discuss about one topic. Before we tell the title of the topic, uh, we would like to show you some pictures. And in the screen, you can see there are five pictures. And guess what can you see from the picture? In the first picture, we can see that there are two little brothers who wear very dirty clothes and sitting at the stairs. And in front of them, there is a container which they need the people to donate money for them. And in the second picture, we can see there are two men. First is an old man who showing a card that writes um, homeless and another man is showing uh, the card which writes jobless and the third picture is a uh, few children um, like African children they are very thin and we can clearly see the bones on their body and they are showing their hands to grab for maybe some food or water from the other people and the fourth picture is about four little children who are eating on like on the road and they are sharing the food like two people that share one food and last but not least is a old man who show uh, the wallet with no money inside. So from this five picture, we can see that um, the peoples are poor. So when we think of poor, we can relate to poverty. So the topic that we like to discuss about is poverty. When we think about poverty, we can relate to poor, no money, uh, suffer from hunger and so on. So actually there are many factors that can contribute to poverty nowadays and the poverty is a very serious issue in global and it is not solved until today. Many countries like India, Bangladesh, Nigeria, the country with many peoples usually they are suffering from the problems of poverty. So now we are going to see what are the factors that contribute to poverty? And I'll pass the presentation to Cindy. Actually, there are many factors that will lead to poverty. Uh, at here, we are going to discuss three common factors. That is economy, society, and education. Okay, now I would like to discuss about the first factor, which is economy. In the first, um, at first in economy, um, unemployment is one of the issues that can contribute to poverty. Um, because when the economy becomes worse, then the, there will be less opportunity of employment in their country. Um, this is because when the economy is not good, the employers are going to reduce the number of employees in their company. They do so because they want to reduce the cost of their company and when the cost of the production is decreased, so the profit of the country uh, for sure will increase. So one way to cut down the cost of their company is to um, reduce the number of employees. 
So when the chance of employment decrease, this will cause many people become jobless. Therefore, many people that have the ability to work or they want to work, but they lack of the opportunity to do so. So when people do not have the job, they will not have enough income or even um, they don't have income at all. So when there is no income, they, are not, um, they cannot afford to pay their daily expenses such as to buy food, to buy clothes, and so on. So people will become poverty, suffer from hunger, and even suffer from starvation. And maybe they are like, um, they have disease, but they do not have money to see doctor. So it will lead to death also. Um, next, um, in economy, I would like to talk about the national debt. National debt means the total number of money which a country's government has borrowed. The country usually will borrow money from uh, IMF, which is the International Monetary Fund. It's an organization that um, the country usually will borrow money from IMF when they do not have enough asset or enough money in their country itself. So they would like to uh, borrow money from IMF in order to uh, solve their financial problems. So um, it can cause that to become the national debt when the country unable to pay back the money they borrow and when they are not able to pay back, they will be considered as a bankrupt country. One of the example is Greece. Why I choose Greece as the example is because um, Greece is the first developed country that failed to make an IMF loan repayment. Because usually um, countries like poor countries, they are unable to pay back the money. Usually developed countries, they are rich enough to pay back. But Greece is the first country, first developed country that failed to make the IMF loan repayment. Their national debt is around 226.36 billion euro. And this is quite a is a quite big number and quite big debt for the country to pay back. So there's an estimate of 44% of Greece live below the poverty line in 2014. That means that um, in 10 people, there will be like 4 to 5 people are suffer from poverty. So this is a very, um, can say a very serious issue that need to be solved by the country. And, and we can see that the national debt is really can cause the poverty. So now I will pass the presentation to Li Yuxi. Hello, mm, I want to talk about uh, poverty in society. Uh, I have two um, supporting details. First one is uh, excessive population. This is overpopulation result in poor country. Mm, I think the overpopulation can lead to a poor country, but this this overpopulation is not the reason for country being poor. The reason can be in ter terms of inequality in country. This means it's uh, garbage between rich and uh, poor. Next one, um, second one is high divorce rate. I think, uh, um, I think, uh, high divorce rate will lead to poor 
children and women. Because, for example, if pregnant and divorced, the child will not have a complete family, so it makes the children rest in poverty. And uh, about a woman, if a uh, divorce, some woman will let the um, source of income because women are traditionally uh, don't have a job. Let's see this picture. First one and the second one. Is uh, have a complete uh, have a complete f uh, family, but another one is don't have a complete family. So it's very uh, this rate is very high. Okay, next lesson is part. Uh, so we now we are going to discuss about uh, poverty and why education is one of the factors that well leads to poverty. Okay, actually, uh, have we ever think that is education cause poverty or poverty cause education? Actually, they are two very very related. Education is the process of facilitating learning or the acquisition of knowledge, skills, values, beliefs, and also habits. Education can change a people's mind. And from this photo, we can see that their facilities is not as good as us, but they are very happy. They, all of them have the smiles in their face. They are so enjoying learning. Well, I think some of us uh, who is uh, around us, they didn't appreciate for what they have now. In education, there are two common factors that I that I think will lead to the poverty. First, it's system. What is mean by that? Education the not complete the incomplete education systems means there is no trained teachers to teach the children in the developing country. The teachers have no educated well and they are not professional in teaching the young generation. Besides, there is also no sufficient equipment for them to learn. They have no even the classroom, the tables, the chairs and also the textbooks. They don't even have the paper and the pens to write the notes, to not doubt the to jot down the notes that given by the teachers. And they don't even have the very systematic education level and also syllabus. They don't even know what they should learn in their age. They have no the primary school, secondary school, and tertiary school like us. As you can see from the big photo, is the classroom in an undeveloped country, while the small photo is the classroom and the and the situation. When the teacher when the teacher is teaching in a room with high technology, the student even study with the iPad and they just and they just 
follow the instruction of the teacher by looking the technology system education. Okay, the second is awareness. I think that the event uh, nowadays the children, even the parents in the developing country don't have the awareness that education is important. They always ask their children don't have to go to the school as their children are always absent and leave school because they have to work and also take care for their family members. There is one special point that I need to mention is in developing country, normally their family members will be many. This is because they they didn't educate it. They don't have the knowledge in the birth control. They always think that education is not important because they don't know that if their children is educated, their children can be profession. Their children can be higher in a company or even the the factory to do the high income job. Like the photos show here, this is Albert Espin. He said that education is not the learning of facts but the training of the mind to think. I think it's right because education can change a people's life. Once a people once a person is educated they can change their life and also their future, their families and also their society uh, level. This is a fact cycle of education and poverty. We can see in the photo there are three children here. Poverty will lead will cause the lack of opportunity for the children to choose. They have no choice. They just have to follow what they have now. This will cause that this will cause them don't have the choice even don't don't have the opportunity to study. Once they are not educated, they were marriage in early age. And they don't have the knowledge to have the birth control. They will have many children and also leads to many health problems. This is the cycle that we all know, but nobody of us are willing to change it. Here we come to the conclusion. Actually, poverty actually poverty is very serious in this society nowadays. Poverty can be overcome. We all Malaysians and also the people in the world should hand in hand to help the needy. We should not be selfish. We should help the others. Uh, that's uh, the presentation from us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.